Okay, when you sign in to DACDB, you are going to click on the Grants tab, which is in the middle of the top menu bar, and you will come to the main screen. I have changed the org year to 1819 because that's where we put our test grants. You will see on this screen there is one grant here that's approved. Once grants are approved and you click on that Grants tab, you will see a list of the grants that have been approved. Um, I'm using uh, Renee's club as a test club, so everything will be in her club this afternoon. So in order to start the grant process, I do understand in your district you have like a pre-qualification, and then once you're approved for that, you come in and use the uh, electronic grant process. This is Walt Schaefer. I'm the... Uh incoming uh, Grants Committee Chair, 2018-19. Uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I look forward to working with all of you. This is to be used uh, at both stages, both okay. the pre-submittal draft, which our review panel will look at during the month of May, mm -hmm. and then we get back to you with, with our suggestions and comments, and then you'll reopen this, go in again, and make those revisions, and the final submission then sometime during the month of June. Okay, great. Thank you for that clarification. So uh, they will come here first then and complete this, and then you'll yes, review uh, what they've completed on the application and the details form. Yes, okay. That's correct. And one, just another comment, only one, district, only one district grant can be submitted per club. Okay, so then um, in, if that's the case, then on the details tab, you don't have to worry of, about the priority. So, correct. yes, so you can just ignore that field. You're completing your application. So you'll click on your grants tab on the top menu bar, and then on the left-hand side, you're going to click on club grants. Check your date. Make sure it says 1819. And then you're going to click on the gold button that says new club grant request. Click here to create a grant. When I click that on, you will see there are four tabs. The Details tab, the Clubs Involved tab, the Contacts tab, and the Application tab. So you will have to complete each tab. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to fill them out on this particular grant because we have some tests that I can show you afterward, but you will include the project name. The project number will automatically be assigned. You can indicate the priority. You can also put in the, so there's uh, the target completion date, your areas of focus. You don't have to put these in. This is just a suggestion. You can click the other if you're not going to be following one of the areas of focus, and your project description. Now, this project description should be a short description of what your project is about, and this will automatically appear on your interim report and on your final report. The next tab is your Clubs Involved tab. So if you're working with another club, all you have to do is select them from the list on the left, use the right arrow, and move them over to the right. Your contacts tab are the list of individuals who are also working on the grant with you. And all you would have to do is move their name over. And then the application tab. Uh, and this application happens to be a customized application just for your district. So just complete all of the different items. You have a few yes or no's for your club qualifications and then some specifics on the grant objectives, your plan, time frame. Looks like if non-Rotarians are involved, who are they? So this is quite a lengthy application. So make sure you complete all segments. Answer yes to both boxes in 11 and 12. 
and then you're going to scroll up to the top and click Save. And I am going to stop there for a moment to see if anybody has any questions. Bob Jones from Brentwood Rotary. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps I missed it, but what's the deadline for submission of these uh, grant requests? Uh, um, the uh, the pre-submittal, this is Walt again, uh, the pre-submittal is uh, between May 1st and May 27th, uh, and the final is uh, any time during the month of June. Okay. So, as I said... Uh, we... could I, sorry, this is Walt. Could I, could I just interject one other thing here, uh, a, a question? I, I'd like to, you know, regarding uh, uh, writing the drafts in Word and then, and then putting it in, I mean, I think people should know that when you're when you're creating this in a in draft form, nobody else is going to see it other than you until you finally submit it. So you can do your drafting right on your own uh, right on your own computer privately. That's right. Okay. So when you start the grant um, application, as I said, there are four tabs there. So I'm not going to save this one, but I am going to go to one that I have saved. That is now a draft, and here it is down here. I'm going to click the pencil on. So after you've saved it as a draft, you'll see there are two new tabs here. The first one is your budget tab. And this is where you're going to enter your DDF requested amount. So in order to do that, you click on the Add Income Source and type in PDF Requested Amount. And it doesn't have to be exactly that wording, but whatever you want to put there. But the key is to select the radio button that says DDF Requested. And then you click the Add. And it puts that um, amount that you're requesting from your district. And usually you have a matching amount that uh, your club comes up with. Which is this fun raising events. And I'm going to put this amount in there. And this would be other club funding. And now you have a total of 4000 for your budget. So you would have to add your estimated expenses to equal that amount. And these are probably estimated since you haven't done your project yet. And I'm just going to put this in for now as a shortcut. You can be more explicit here if you actually have line items. Put in the line items as close to what you uh, plan to spend there. Uh, once you have actual expenses and receipts, you can come in here and edit that and actually put the exact amounts that need to go in here and make copies of your receipts to later put in the documents file. So the goal is that your cash flow should be zero there so that it balanced your um, income and your expenses wash each other out. So the final tab is your Documents tab, and this is where you're going to put the copies of your receipts, the photos of your club involvement in the project, um, maybe Excel worksheets you might have. I don't know if the district requires you to put a copy of your MOU, signed MOU in there. Whatever the district is going to require, uh, you can put it in this section. Now, there are a couple folders already uh, set up, one for documents, one for images. You can use them or not use them. It really doesn't matter. Um, the nice thing is if you do save it as a JPEG, when you do the final report and you view the final report in HTML, you can actually see the pictures of your Rotarians uh, being involved in the projects or the actual receipts. So it really is a nice summary of your work. If you don't save it as a JPEG or a PNG file, then you will see links to documents to open up something else. So um, it really is 
nice to see it in the JPEG or PNG. It's just easier for the board to look at things. So just keep that in mind. And so once you're ready to submit it, the first thing the person who is a club signee will do is they're going to click, do, click on Collect Grant Signatures. And a little box will come up asking you if you really want to do that. You're going to say, OK. And once you do that, you'll see there is a new box up here called Club Sign Grant Application. So I think in your uh, district, you're only requiring one signature. So that person will come in here and click on Sign Grant Application. This little box pops up. You're going to click on Sign the Grant. And once you've done that, you will now see two new additional tabs. Your activity log will summarize exactly what you've been doing. And I'm going to open that up. So from the very beginning, when you created the grant, to every step of the way, you will see who did what. And when Renee turns on the automated emails that will be received, you'll actually be able to see who the emails were sent to. So this is a nice place to go and review if you can't remember where you are in the process. And then the signature tab will also show where you are. So I, sub I signed the grant, I submitted the grant for the club approval, and then I came in and signed the grant application. Now it's ready to be submitted to the district for approval. And to do that, you just click on Submit the Grant for District Approval. Now if we go back to the club grants on the left, you will see that the status is of changed and now it says submitted the grant for district approval. So one more time, I'm going to go in here now and you can see that the tabs, the last tab is the signature tab. Once your district looks at the grant and approves it and changes it to approval, you're going to see some new tabs. So I have one out here that is in the approved stage. I'm going to click that on, and now you have your interim report tab and your final report tab. I don't know the timing of uh, your interim or your final report, but whenever your interim report is due, you're going to come in here, click on the interim report. You'll complete the items. The first item, describe the project. That one comes from the description on your details tab. So that one will automatically be filled in based on what you put on the description. And here, how many people benefited from the project? Who were the beneficiaries? How many Rotarians participated? What did they do? Um, if a cooperating organization was involved, you complete all that information and Anywhere you see a tag, just leave that in there because that's automatically going to be populated based on other information in your report. Like the photos I was mentioning before, you will have a list of all the photos showing in your interim report and also a list of all the documents that are in your document tab. So those will automatically populate. Okay, just so something is in here. Okay, so when you're finished with that, you're going to save your interim report. And it's going to ask you if you really want to save it. You're going to say yes. And if you come over to your documents now, you will see a copy of your interim report is saved as a PDF. If you open this, It's going to show the information. If you did have pictures there, it will automatically show your pictures. It's going to show everybody's signature all the way along the way so that the district can verify everybody signed when they were supposed to. It'll automatically put in your project number. And then if you did have the photos, they would appear right here. And then when it's time for your final report, you're going to do exactly the same thing. 
The final report looks exactly the same. When you're finished, you're going to save the final report. Did allow me to save it. OK. OK. Um, the, now, since Renee saved her final report, she now sees a button here to collect the final signatures. So she's going to collect the final signatures. Then she's going to sign the final report. And we just had some fake uh, names in here previous to this. So she's going to sign it. And now she can submit the final report to the district for approval. And if we go back and look at the club grants, now you can see that the status of this grant changed to submitted final report for district approval. So by checking the status, you're always going to know what step of the process you're in. So I'm going to stop here and see if there's any questions. Uh, I have a comment. This is Walt. Yes, Walt. Um, you, you mentioned er earlier that uh, you thought that um, that uh, if if a dollar is requested of DFF of DDF, that uh, an, another dollar is required from the club. Actually, for every dollar requested DDF, fifty cents is required from clubs. Okay, thank you for that input. And I also would like to encourage uh, uh, listeners and viewers here to check out the uh, district five one six zero designated fund district grant global grant policy that's on the on the uh, the district website under uh, foundation and under grants and then look for the 2018-19 ddf and grant policy it's just a few pages but that goes into all the details about uh, about our policy about uh, you know how much you can apply for about uh, uh, how many clubs can be involved uh, and the uh, evaluation criteria as well as the schedule the May and June dates that I mentioned. So here it is right here. Yep. So the, the 2018-19 DDF and grant policy. OK. Are there any other questions? OK. Well, if no, no. I would like to add, like to add if, if people have follow up questions or questions during the preparation of your um, of your uh, uh, pre-submittal application, uh, contact me, um, Walt Schaefer, or Renee. Actually, will be the first person to contact Renee Duddy, D-U-D-D-Y, uh, and then I'll be her backup. Okay, that's great. Okay, if no one has any questions, then our session is ended. And thank you very much.